What up? Strugglers. I just wanted to get a little comfy cozy with you today. Thought we might be able to snuggle up a little bit. Plenty of room on the old couch here. You know how the whole OK Boomer thing is kind of booming right now? <laughs> oh, I didn't plan that. That's classic. Well, the whole Boomer thing is, you know, it's, it's taken off. There's articles left and right talking about OK Boomer. Every comment that you see is OK Boomer. OK Boomer. I was on the YouTube trending page today and everybody's favorite boomer, Ellen, was on there like she usually is. I think she's just got her place on the trending page, you know, they've got a spot reserved for her whenever she wants it. Uh, and today's video that I saw is titled, Can This Teenager Use a Rotary Phone? And now we all kind of know how Ellen operates. She likes to bring people on the show and humiliate them, make fun of them, make them feel less than. It's kind of a staple of what she does now. She didn't always used to be like this, I don't think. Well, this video is gonna be no different, okay? Um, it, it's just basically old people making fun of teenagers, which that's kind of overdone, but I just want to take a little peeky poo at this video um, because it's just so, it's so unbelievably out of touch and it's just the classic okay boomer move. So I, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be relevant. The internet has made it so easy to find information. Does anyone remember encyclopedias? Yeah. yeah? All right. They were these giant books and uh, that everyone read and everybody had them. Does anybody remember encyclopedias? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's not like a, what? <laughs> that's not like saying, oh, does anybody remember when we used to write with feather pens? Like, <laughs> I graduated high school in 2014 and we still had encyclopedias all over the all over the school. So yeah, yeah, I think we remember those, Ellen. How many of you still have encyclopedias? Anybody still have encyclopedias? Yes? <laughs> of course she still has encyclopedias. She exclusively uses encyclopedias. The internet has made it so easy. Everything is, uh, everything is just obsolete because you don't need anything anymore. You don't need maps or phone books or human interaction. I know that that was a joke, okay? But it was a dumb joke. I was going to say try going one week without human... Try going one day without human interaction. Oh man, this comment is going to get so many likes. Oh, yes. I set up a challenge and what I need is a young person right now. And uh, Marley Flandro, I know that there's someone named Marley here. Where's Marley Flandro? <laughs> okay. That's such a typical Ellen Guest face. Hold on, ready? Did I nail it or did I nail it? I should be on Ellen. Can I actually, I was supposed to be on Ellen. <laughs> Me and Jaden were actually supposed to do, I was gonna propose on Ellen and like we, we had Skype interviews and everything. Like I, I, would, I met with the producers, very similar to the deal or no deal thing. And uh, I think that, <laughs> oh man, I can't believe, I think that they saw a video that I made in the past where I was criticizing Ellen. I actually had a couple on this channel. I tried to get through the whole interview process without bringing up the fact that I had a YouTube channel because I didn't want them to see those videos. Uh, and Jaden accidentally let it slip when she was talking to the producer. And I know that they looked at my channel. I even like went and privated those videos, but I know that they looked at my channel before I got a chance to do that and saw me criticizing Ellen. And they were like, oh, how dare you criticize our God? Hey Google, make the lights red really quick. Thank you, babe. I love you so much. How dare you criticize Ellen? She is a god. She can do no wrong. Hey, Google, turn the lights to 3200 Kelvin. Yeah, I'm smart. I know temperature. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why we didn't end up being on the show. But anyway, like when we were doing our audition interviews, or whatever, they they were like, tell us what you love about Ellen. Like, why do you love Ellen? And I was sitting there thinking like, I don't love Ellen. <laughs> but then, you know, you have to pretend like you're so excited about everything because to be on the show, you got to be an obnoxious whatever. Sorry, I, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about again. Okay, so Marley, yes. how old are you? I'm 17 years old. 17 years yes. old. I actually have my own business, so. That's what? Really fun. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what kind of business do you have? Um, since I was 11, I've been making and selling little zipper pouches. Zipper pouches, like for people to carry like makeup and yeah, travel Yeah, totally. You can put stuff? them in your purses and wow. your bags. Good yeah. for you, a little entrepreneur. Yeah, I love it. It's Good. fun. It's All right, right Marley. Of me. All right. <laughs> what? All right, Marley. Bread Marley. inside of me. All right, all right, Bread Marley. Bread inside of me. All right. Bread inside of me? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's bread inside of me. I want to show you some things and I'm going to ask if you know what they are, okay? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, here's where it starts to get really condescending. I know this isn't going to make anybody angry. This is totally fun. It's all just, it's all in good fun. It's, it's not, you know, looking down on people. It's not, dare I say, 
ageist? I'm not gonna say that, that's super annoying, but it is it is really condescending and it's about to get really annoying, so here we go. Do you, do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a map. Yes, it is. When's yeah. the last time you used a map? Probably like off-roading with my dad. Oh, you have used it then. Ellen, when's the last time you used a map? Don't be coming on here being like, oh, this stupid little 17-year-old girl doesn't know how to use a freaking map. Oh, <laughs> what? I would love to know the last time Ellen DeGeneres, the freaking $20 billion net worth Ellen DeGeneres, when was the last time she used a map? I would love to know. So here's, here's a map, okay. okay? Do you know what this is? It's a yellow book. It has everyone's phone numbers in it. Who doesn't know what a freaking phone book is? It's like, if they were gonna try to be like, oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. But also, at the same time, you're dead to me and I never want to speak to you again. That was my friend Dom. You guys know Dom. Dom's great. Anyway, let's get back into this thing. I don't remember what I was saying before I got that phone call. Sorry if it was important. So yes, it's a phone okay. book. Awesome. Yeah, Do you, so you know what that's used for? Have you ever seen one of these? Do you know what a phone book is for, you stupid kid? You know, this book with a bunch of phone numbers in it. Do you have any idea what this thing is for, you dumb idiot? Hey Google, make the lights green for me, please. I actually, I don't, I don't know why I chose green. <laughs> green, the color of anger, you stupid, Stupid kid. I bet you a billion dollars you couldn't tell me what a phone book is for. You stupid idiot. Only I, Ellen DeGeneres, and my boomer friends know what a phone book is for. And what is this right here? Let me just turn this so the audience sees it as well. What is that? It's a telephone. It is a telephone. Yes, Here's your challenge, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put a time limit on this. I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm keeping it in my head. Okay. All right, the time is gonna be on a clock. Do you know what a clock is? Yes, I do know what a clock is. Do you know how to tell time on a clock? Yes. How, do you, how can you look at a clock and tell the time? Oh, you look at the hands, and the shorter one is the hour, and the longer one is Good the for you. A lot of young people don't read the time anymore yeah. on clocks. It's crazy. W cite your freaking sources, Ellen. What are you talking about? A lot of people, young people, don't know how to tell time on a clock? Where are you pulling this information out of? Okay, here's just another little experiment. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put time on a clock and don't cheat, okay? Don't read anybody else's comment. What time is it on this clock, okay? Be serious, I'm not kidding around, okay? This isn't a joke. This isn't a goof, okay? I'm being serious now. Come on, tell me, I know you know it. Come on, write it in the comments. What time is it on the clock? I want you to, first of all, you're gonna fold this back into the position it was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Then you're gonna find a number in here okay. for golden muffler. I want golden you to call muffler. golden muffler and, and call and tell them that you, you need a golden muffler. <laughs> Wait a second, does Ellen not know what golden muffler is? You're such a boomer. You don't even know what golden muffler is, Ellen? Well, you think you're gonna get a golden muffler there? Let the time start now. No. No. Oh no, no. No. Okay, hold on a second though. This has nothing to do with like generations. Who the, f th it's hard to fold up a map like that. She's sitting here like, oh, kids these days don't know how to fold a map exactly the way that it, it no, it, it, who the hell knows how to do that? I wanna see, honestly, <laughs> I, I wanna see Ellen fold the map back up because I don't know, man, I, I put, 10 to 1 odds that she wouldn't be able to do it any faster than this girl can. She's sitting there looking at her like, you stupid little kid. Oh, you're gonna make me so much money. You know how many views I'm gonna get on this YouTube video? I'm gonna be on the trending page. Never mind. <laughs> can I just say, this is going on for entirely too long. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so I need to spin. That was like the biggest audience reaction I've ever seen. I haven't seen boomers in an audience get that excited since I went to a Jeff Dunham stand-up show in 2010. Five. Zero. Hello. My parents are probably so disappointed. And if they are, they should be disappointed in themselves because you know who was supposed to teach you these things? Your parents. They always say, oh man, you kids are so dumb. You, you don't know how to read a map. You kids are so dumb. You don't know how to freaking, I don't know, find a phone number in a phone book. Or are we supposed to just teach ourselves when we're kids how to do everything? Like our you know, parents are supposed to teach you how to do stuff. And then the parents, the boomers are the ones who are like, 
Why don't you kids know how to do anything? Uh. <laughs> oh my God. That was better than I could have ever hoped for. So I, I guess you win this round, Ellen. <laughs> you got him. Well, because you're a millennial, you win or lose, uh, win or lose, you're gonna get a prize. <laughs> um. That's right, dude. Millennials, all I ever want is a participation trophy. That's it. Can't do anything without everybody being a winner. I think the best part about that whole thing is that this girl is not a millennial. <laughs> she said she's 17 years old. She's definitely Gen Z. Come on, Ellen. <laughs> like, if we're gonna try to roast a generation, at least do it right. It kind of seems like she's sitting up on her throne and she looks down at people. And even when she's got, like, an impoverished family that comes in and she, you know, gives them a $20,000 check from Shutterfly or whatever, she still seems like she's like, I am giving you this check. You know, I'm helping you out. The reason that you're gonna be able to pay for that new car is because of me, Ellen DeGeneres. And don't you forget it. Now go and tell my producers why you love me. I know I'm not the only one that gets weird vibes from Ellen. And I know for a fact I'm not the only one that has a problem with the way that some boomers talk down to everybody. But you guys know how it is. That's just me, cozy on the couch, giving my little opinion about something. It, it, you know, whatever, it's not a big deal. Let's end on a positive note. Hey Google, make the lights yellow. If you don't wanna get made fun of by boomers like Ellen, maybe you could teach yourself some of these skills that they never taught you, so then when they come to you and be like, do you know how to fix a leaky faucet? Then you can be like, uh, freaking yeah I do, you dumb boomer. This would be a perfect spot for a Squarespace ad. But alas, <laughs> Nope. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. I love you and uh, have a great day. See ya. Bye. Yeah, yeah.